Bill Gowdy checking in. I got an adventure for you today. I cook up some poor man shrimp. Oh, you just got to check it out. Look what we got for today, for dinner for today. Some whole fire catfish, my favorite. And another freshwater drum. If he checks out all right, I got a tip. I got some, I got a tip from Chick Happens. I, I, he's got an awesome channel going on over there. And uh, I, I rarely miss a video of his, I, I really enjoy his stuff and um, you just gotta check him out his link will be down below and uh, he takes sheep head and boils them in salt water and puts them in melted butter and says it's poor man shrimp well I don't put butter on my shrimp normally I, I use lobster in butter and I use crab meat in butter but uh, a shrimp I usually use a cocktail sauce but I'm going to try butter today. But I'm also going to make cocktail sauce. And I'm going to, if this uh, drum checks out all right, doesn't have any parasites and stuff in him, I'm going to boil him up and in the salt water and uh, check that out. But that's later on in the video. <laughs> it sure is. Look at there. Look at that drum, right? He looks like a twin to the other one I got the other day. And he's just about this, I don't know what, two and a quarter pounds, he's not quite two and a half. Yeah, a nice, nice drum. He looks good. And I, drum look like sheep's head, and I don't know if, if they are, if sheep head and, and drum are the same or not. I know we call them freshwater drum, the conservation calls them freshwater drum up here. But, uh, yeah, he doesn't have the teeth uh, like a sheep head that I see in the salt water and uh, so anyway he's got the lucky stones in him right up here yeah, in fact I got a jar a jar of, of lucky stones <laughs> that was some uh, the beardedhiker.com jar with some salsa in it originally and uh, I'm using it now for the uh, lucky stones that's what the drums use they vibrate in their brain, around their brain, to make the drumming sound. That's a whole different video. I'll show that later. I gotta get to cleaning some fish. Got one carp and uh, got him on a night crawler. Put up one heck of a nice fight, but uh, he's small. But I'll eat, he'll eat. I, you know what I might do? I might boil him just like that uh, in the salt water, just because I've never had boiled carp before. I might just do that. And I'm gonna fry those catfish up. Just like I normally do, uh, whole as uh, a whole fryer. Yeah, those are perfect. My favorites. Big Bartley's on. Yeah, my favorite. <laughs> Another one of my favorites. I'm just having a favorite day. That's for darn sure. Lucky stones. That's what come out of that drum. That's what makes the drumming sound under the water. You can't see right here. Maybe that. Maybe you can see it better. Yeah. <laughs> that background.
Once again, I was blessed with supper. It's hard to beat fresh fish, never frozen. <laughs> it sure is. It is just hard to beat that. I look forward to that every time I go out, especially this time of year. Drum looked excellent. There is no, there is no uh, parasites in there at all. Not, not any. Nice white flaky meat. It looks nice and white. Now the carp, you know, it's got bones in it, so I I, uh, I cut those bones. You, you see, I scored them. I, I, they, I, Virgil actually made a machine that scores it, but I don't have that machine down here right now, so I just did it by hand. That was a small carp. This is a rib cage section, and it's just there's no bones in that, but uh, in the rib section, uh, I cut the bones out. So, yeah, I'm anxious to try this. I'm going to boil this. All this is going to get boiled. This is going to be fried. This is the catfish. They're all ready to go, and uh, I'm going to fry them in the frying pan. Easy to tell between the carp and the drum. The drum is nice and white. You know, it's turned flaky. And the carp's got kind of be a pink color and is scored. It sure doesn't take long. Look at this. Look at that. You can tell. You can tell the difference. It's flaky. to move this operation indoors. Ran out of LP out there. <laughs> oh, and I, you think I had another tank? I did not have another tank filled. Guess what? Yeah. Yeah, guess what? Yeah, it's out of LP. It's all right. I'll make this work. I get the vent fan on. I move Dick Bartley in here. We're Almost the temperature. I like to get to 350. We're almost there. That's my old cast iron skillet. I think that's a. I think that's a number nine on there. I usually used to keep that in the boat all the time. And then I swamp the boat. And now I just put it in on, on, on particular occasions. Let's see if it's hot now. Oh yeah. It's hot. That fish just fits in that pan. You see that? Just fits. I don't like them any bigger than that. Makes it harder to cook them. Moving in auto oil. Ah, just the way I like them. 
just hours ago they were out there swimming around that Mississippi River. They don't get any pressure. I know somebody's going to ask me, hey Bill Gowdy, is that your 321 coating? And no, it's not. I, I, <laughs> I'm having a heck of a time. This is Old South. This is what I used to use all the time. It's made by Golden Dip. And it's got enriched flour. I normally would not have this being a low carb person just because of the, the carbs and the, and, and the enriched flour. Hey, but you know what? You see what time it is? Yeah, I'm running out of time. I didn't have any more farmers on <laughs> on the list. I did have some old sow left over in the freezer. That's where you want to keep it, like uh, flour. Good. I, I really do like it. It's one of my favorites, but you know I don't eat it anymore, yeah. except on rare occasions. Let me tell you, I normally don't eat this late. It's 8.07. <laughs> Sun's going down, running out of light. What's new about that, huh? Alright. So in here is I got the boiled carp. And underneath that is the boiled drum. The poor man's shrimp, supposedly. We're going to give that a try. Oh, it, look how flaky it is. It, this is butter. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh, yeah. This is a shrimp cocktail sauce. This is a ketchup, horseradish, Texas peat. I use Texas peat. And, um, Lemon juice, the juice of a lemon. Mm. You know, <laughs> that that carries over the fish, you know, and that carries over the shrimp. I don't normally eat my shrimp with butter on it, but I'll tell you what. I don't know if you want to call that the poor man's shrimp or not, but it really is good. Shrimp, it, 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 it's a little softer than a shrimp. You know, shrimp is, I think, has more texture to it. This is more flaky, but it's good. Oh, oh man, I, I'm going to do this again. Boil drum. Who knew, huh? So this is the carp. I'll try it in the butter. Mm. Well, I'll tell you what, that's mushy. It, it, it's, it's good, but it's not, uh, it doesn't have the firmness as the drum. Let's try it in the cocktail sauce. Mmm, wow, that's good too. You know, I tried it without either sauce, and it was kind of bland. It really didn't have, it was just ready to take on whatever flavor you want. And when you put it in the butter, or you put it in the, it's good. It really is. Well, that's good anyway, but, it, no, I mean, it, it had the salt water seasoning. And, then, you know, but it's, it's uh, the carp is a little mushy. I, I tell you what, between the two, that drum is A number one. Carp, eh, not so much. I'd probably just stick to frying it. Lucy Lou doesn't get to eat tonight. <laughs> she has to eat her dog food. Poor girl. She doesn't like to eat fish. 
Phil Gowdy and Lucy Lou out. It's uh, pretty good. I don't know if I wouldn't really call it shrimp because it doesn't quite have the texture. Thank you, Chick Happens. That was a awesome tip you gave me. No matter what you call it, it's good to eat. And I'll tell you that right now.